Three months after January 6th, while they're still cordoning off the Capitol because threats these, by these sick insurrectionists continue to be profligated on the internet. Again, all America saw what happened. What Officer Evans was killed defending the checkpoint it had to go through to get up to the Capitol because of these god-awful sick threats that continue to move forward. And the whole world saw it. The story of what happened on January the 6th has been embellished and propagandized from the very beginning when they claimed that Brian Sicknick had been killed by a rider with a fire extinguisher, which turned out to be a total lie. A lie that they continue to tell at the present day. Literally criminals to break through Corden, go into the Capitol, kill a police officer, and be held unaccountable. He lost his life protecting our elected representatives upholding the will of the American people and defending our Constitution. Lawmakers paid tribute today to the officer killed at the Capitol insurrection. Let me begin by expressing my deep sympathy for the family of uh, Capitol officer um, uh, Sicknick, who uh, has died in the line of duty. U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, who was killed in last month's riot at the Capitol. A less than a month after a mob stormed the Capitol, fallen Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick lies in honor in the building he died defending. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. However, as we've all come to expect, that doesn't matter. They will continue spreading their disinformation in service of their agenda. And Biden is proving that once again with another totally made up bullshit tall tale. Three months after January 6th, while they're still cordoning off the Capitol because threats these, by these sick insurrectionists. Wait, wait, wait. Why wasn't the Capitol blocked off in the first place? The answer is because Nancy Pelosi, the Democrat DC mayor and the FBI purposely left it open so that they could then use the results for endless propaganda like we're seeing right now. They're still cordoning off the Capitol because threats these, by these sick insurrectionists continue to be profligated on the internet. Again, all America saw what happened. But Officer Evans was killed defending the checkpoint it had to go through to get up to the Capitol because of these god-awful sick threats that continue to move forward. And the whole world saw it. It's just hard to believe. It's hard to believe it could happen here in America. It's fiction. Except that's not true at all. Either he just made it up there on the spot, or his speechwriters purposely put it in there to spice up their January the 6th narrative. I mean, why would he lie about this? It's well documented and easily verified, but they just don't care because they know that people are lazy and will accept whatever they say. Back in reality and months after January the 6th, Officer Billy Evans was killed by a nation of Islam black nationalists who hated white people and was shot by police shortly after running over the officer. Biden didn't mention any of that. He just used the murder for his own partisan political purposes. I wonder how the parents feel about that. A question we would probably know the answer to if it were Trump spreading this disinformation. Because the media would then parade his parents on TV as victims of Trump's lies. Instead, they're actually helping Biden to create myths about January 6th. All right, folks, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all on the next one.